Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today I'm bringing you a brownie mug cake recipe from a request that some of you were hoping that I would get that re that recipe. Some of you were hoping that I would get that recipe up before Christmas. And so I'm bringing it to you today. Um, it's on the same premise of the um, mug cakes that I showed you. Only this is uh, totally homemade. There's not any box mixes involved with this at all. So we'll go over here to this mixing station that I've got set up and we'll put this together. We're going to start out with five cups of all-purpose flour here in the bowl. And um, to that, we're going to add our other ingredients. All these are dry ingredients and we'll add the mix, uh, add the wet ingredients when it's time for you to make one of the brownies. So this is five cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm gonna add three and a third cups of granulated sugar. We're gonna stir those together. Get it started. And to that, we're going to add two and a half cups of cocoa. Whoops. And let me get this last half and a half cups. Now it's just a matter of getting these ingredients. Now it's just a matter of getting these ingredients incorporated together. And so I'll keep working on that. Make sure you get all the way to the bottom. I'm going to add in one cup of chocolate chips. This is going to make for, for a richer brownie. And that's all that there is to it, guys. Now, this is a little bit more goes into our mug when we make the brownie than the mug cakes. We're going to actually add oil to this one. And so let me get the... Um, our mug out and we'll make this brownie. So now we're gonna make our mix or make our brownie. We're gonna need a third of a cup of the mix and we're gonna try to get in there without making much of a mess into the cup. We're going to use two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons and two tablespoons of oil. I already have one in there. Okay, we're gonna get that mixed up. Get it mixed up really well. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our mug cakes. We're gonna cook it in the microwave for one minute. Now, we're gonna do get this all mixed up Make sure you get it good. You can still see that I've got some powder down in there. Get it mixed good. You may have to switch to a spoon if your little whisk can't get it all. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. And I'm gonna get this put in the microwave. I'll get this put in the microwave for one minute. And then um, after that minute, you can check it to see if it's done and you might have to cook your brownie just a little bit longer than the cake, but that's not always the case. And so watch it really closely. Remember also that your microwaves have different wattage and just like our ovens, our microwaves cook a little bit differently. So keep an eye on it. You don't want to scorch it. I'm gonna go put this in the microwave and bring it back when it's done. This is my mug brownie after one minute. I could have let it go a little bit longer, but I like mine to be just a little bit um, I don't like 
real, real cakey. It's a little bit more fudgy with those chocolate chips in there. If you I left it in the cup, but I chose to take mine out and put it on the plate so that you could see, this is what it looks like. Now you'll see wet, wet spots and that's where the, um, the chocolate chips are at. See right there. And uh, this would be delicious with a little, with a little bit of Cool Whip on it or plain like it is with a little bit of um, caramel sauce, whatever, just for a simple little treat. Now this will make, now you could have baked this just a little bit longer and had a uh, cakier, but um, it's, it's to your own liking. This particular recipe here that we just mixed up now will make six pints of brownie mix. Uh, to give as gifts or to put on your shelf. Each pint will make three mug brownies. Um, so, um, you know, if you give it to an individual, then they have three different brownies that they can enjoy at, at different times. And so I hope this helps those of you that were asking for the recipe. It's really simple to go together. Maybe you're needing a last minute recipe and this is something that'll help your gift baskets uh, uh, just to have a little bit something else to round out those baskets and to uh, make somebody smile with their homemade Christmas gift. Until next time, guys, this is Josie. I love y'all. I really do. Keep look, looking well to the ways of your household. And until next time, we're gone.